Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now today's tutorial we're going to be going over dupeverts in uh, Blender. Uh, I wanted this is sort of a short tutorial and I just wanted to take this time uh, to just kind of discuss a few things um, with you guys that frequently watch my tutorials and so I'll say a little stuff in the beginning and then do the tutorial and then say some stuff at the end. Uh, first of all, Blender 2.46 is out for those of you who have not upgraded already. As you can see, I have that little purple bar there, 2.46. You can download that on blender.org, uh, the official Blender site. Um, also, um, some of you may know I have a Blender DVD coming out on making a character in Blender, $20, two to three hours. Um, it's been in a little while, it's been uh, making for a while, so uh, they'll be coming out hopefully soon. I'm actually having some equipment tr troubles, so just hold on for the people who have pre ordered it. So just message me if you want more info about that. Also, I, ha I get a lot of people asking me on YouTube and on Nistic for help and tutorial requests. Um, uh, if you ha if you want help with your Blender stuff, I get a lot of those messages, and it's really hard uh, for me to actually help everyone uh, kind of at once and make the tutorials at the same time. So I suggest you just go over to forum.nistic.com, uh, post a topic about it, and there's a lot of people there that can help you a lot faster than I can and better than I can. Uh, in the time I have to make these tutorials and help you guys. So, if you have a question, just go over there instead of uh, messaging me because I'm just going to refer you over there anyways. Um, also, people who are re requesting tutorials, there's also a topic on inform.nistic.com, request a tutorial. Uh, should be easy to find where you can request uh, tutorials, and I only take my tutorial ideas from there and kind of nowhere else. So, if you want your tutorial, don't message me. Just go over to form.nistic.com. I know I reiterate that a lot, but that's uh, really the base of the tutorials there. So, let's go ahead and get started with uh, Dupeverts. Uh, it's a really easy feature here. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to erase our basic cube here. Take a circle. Default values zoom out a bit so we can see what we're doing make it a little bit bigger and let's say we want to add a UV sphere you can do any kind of object uh, for this particular thing so basically dupe verts is it, you have uh, one mesh like this thing here and then you have uh, the other mesh over here and this mesh is duplicated on each one of the vertices so you can see all these little vertices on um, our circle, 32 of them in all. And it's going to basically copy this tiny little, uh, it's big now, uh, this, let's make that a little smaller, this little tiny UV sphere around the circle, how, however many vertices it has. So, for example, uh, we're going to take this thing, move it to the center. And basically, we're going to select this, select that, and parent it to it. So I'll just click that, click that, hit Control P, and then that would parent it. Then we go over to uh, this little tab right here, the arrow looking tab. See those little vector arrows? Uh, then we hit two parts. And that's it. Simple, wasn't it? So basically, you have. Uh, this UV sphere, and it's been duplicated all the way around uh, this circle. And so, you can use this technique uh, um, multiple ways just to duplicate a character or whatever. Uh, but in this case, I used this little UV sphere, put it around a uh, circle, and kind of looks like a, a necklace or a bracelet. Uh, so you can kind of have uh, fun with this, and you might be able to kind of texture it out, look at, make it look like. Uh, glass or something or crystal uh, pearl whatever you want to do with it so that's a two second way to make a, a necklace or a bracelet in blender so I hope you learned a little bit uh, from this and I think that's it for this tutorial um, I discussed everything so 
hope to see you guys in the next tutorial, and I'll see you later.